So what is docx form? Docx form is a Python pip package used for editing content controls and .docx files. Uh, these are just Microsoft Word files. Um, this, the intended audience for this package is any developer or anybody who uh, finds themselves writing a Python script who may need to edit Microsoft Word documents for whatever reason. So to install our package, um, you're gonna need Python installed. Um, the example that is being shown is in a Windows terminal. Um, so your Python version needs to be at minimum 3.10.6, and then you can just use pip, which comes installed with Python. Use uh, pip install docx-form, and then it will install any needed dependencies, and then um, your success message, message should show uh, docx-form with the most recent version at the time of recording, it's 0.1.4. Now we're gonna go over some of the usage with our package. Here we have our file, uh, your underscore file.docx, and inside that file, uh, we have a plain text, and then we have a checkbox that is currently unchecked. Here's an example code. Uh, with line one, we're importing our docx forms. Uh, line four, we're just specifying that file path. Uh, line five, um, we're just creating a docx form class instance at that file path. And then finally, we're just printing out uh, all the content control types. Uh, as you can see right below in our terminal, um, we have it listed by the index with zero and one, zero being a plain text and one being a checkbox. Next, we have the ID of each and then the text specifying what text was inside that, whether it was a checkbox that was unchecked or just plain text uh, specifying uh, this is plain text content control. So we just have another example script here. So on line one, we're importing our content controls. And below, we have our plain text control and our checkbox uh, control. And we're using type hints that give us more IntelliSense. So the index we're sending them to are based on our list all content control uh, function, which was in the previous slide. And then so on line 16, you can see we're setting our plain text content control to this is a text. And then on 17, we're setting our uh, checkbox to true, meaning check, and if we set it to false, it'd be unchecked. And then just on line 20, we are saving uh, our file, and whatever path you pass in, it will be where it saves to. And this is just our resulting uh, Word file. So our plain text is now, this is a test, and then our checkbox is now set to check. When you call the save function without a path for the parameter, it just overwrites the existing file instead of creating the new file. And we also have documentation available at southeasternlouisianauniversity.github.io slash docxform. Currently we have support for plain text and checkbox content controls and plan to have support for rich text, combo box, drop down, and date picker content controls. Thanks for watching.